Hi there. Today I'm reviewing a Samsung microwave model number MC32K7055 CK, which is a 32 litre black 900 watt microwave. Um, I, um, it's quite a large microwave. Uh, it's slightly higher and slightly wider than what I would say would be a normal size microwave, but mainly it's the depth. It's 48 centimetres deep, um, so um, there's not a huge amount of workspace left, but there is still sufficient. But it was a good idea to double check the measurements and make sure it would comfortably fit where you want to put it. Uh, we placed this where our previous microwave was, and a slight negative, as there aren't too many, I have to say, with this um, machine, is that the lead reached up to about here rather than um, up to the lead um, rather whether the previous one would go the socket which is over here so we've had to get uh, an extension cable for it uh, as I said that's a slight negative but there aren't too many um, it, uh, it opens downwards which uh, is different to other microwaves, but if it opened outwards, it would just be too large. Uh, and this is a nice, good sized, feels solid. As I said, it's 900 watts, so that's quite powerful, means that your food gets cooked nice and quickly. It's got a, a touch screen display here and, uh, a, and a knob, so there's, it's clean will clean very easily also down here um, alongside the stop button is an eco button which if you press it means that the display when when you're not using it goes off which saves electricity so um, or you can have the dis display on if you prefer inside it's um, lined in ceramic enamel which means it's antibacterial and scratch resistant and stain free which is going to be great to clean um, due to the size of the microwave it's got a large turntable this is 345 millimeters which means it's going to be great for large large plates and large dishes it comes with uh, what they call a crusty plate. Perhaps they could have called that something slightly better. But uh, when, you, when you put the food, food on this, this part of it um, is designed to crisp the food up. And I have actually made chips during the week on this and it did crisp that side up nicely. But if I were to make, when I make chips again, I think I will turn them next time so that both sides are crispy. And it also comes with a, uh, a low rack and a high rack, um, dependent on what you're cooking. If you're cooking from something uh, preset in the recipe book, um, then it advises you which rack to use. You can, of course, use the rack to stack. If you're using more than one plate or, or vessel at a time, you can stack. Upper part here is the grill and the uh, grill button is over here if you wanted to use it as a standard grill. So whilst it is a microwave, and that's the standard microwave button if, you, if you're if you just microwaving some carrots or something, um, that, but it's got lots of other facilities. Slim Fry, which essentially is like um, an Acti Fry air fryer, so that you, you just put a little bit of, tiny little bit of oil, a spoonful of oil on the items, like the chips I was cooking the other day, and then they come out, if I were to, uh, did it properly, <laughs> they come out uh, nice and crispy. Um, Dough-proof um, yoghurt, so that this will ferment, uh, ferment your dough, essentially, and your yoghurt. So you, instead of putting the dough in the, if I was making some bread, instead of putting it in the airing cupboard to prove, I can put it in here. And there is a preset, um, a preset which will prove the dough. And similarly, the yoghurt ferments. I have already made yoghurt in this, 
I mixed 150 millilitres of live yoghurt with 500 millilitres of long life milk, um, selected the uh, dough proof yoghurt and also the corresponding um, program up here and it left it overnight it takes nine hours to ferment so great for leaving it overnight then you put it in the fridge for another six hours and you've got lovely thick yogurt which is ooh, i'd say probably at least half a third of the price of buying it um so i can see i'm going to be using that a lot because i have yogurt every day hot blast is a convection oven so this as I said, it's much more than just a microwave. It really is, it really will do most, most things you want it to do in the kitchen. It's a great asset to any kitchen. Uh, as I said, the hot blast is a convection oven. So you can just use that as if you were using your normal oven. It's gonna be great because it's such a good size for if you can't if you're having family round or a party and you can't fit everything in your normal oven you can really use this as a, as, a, as an extra oven addition um, up here are the um, are the built-in programs so these are all built in and preset so for example when I was making the chips um, I was doing homemade French fries. So I pressed the slim fry button. Uh, one is for the uh, fries and one, two is for homemade French fries on this up here. Press that and then if I wanted to start it, And that takes 17 minutes in that instance. Um, and um, these are the other options. So there's lots of built-in options. Healthy cooking it, it, it is sort of like a, almost like a steam type of oven facility, which, and, and the details for the presets are all in the instruction book. And as I said, the next preset is the dough proof yogurt, which we've already touched on. The power defrost, again, you select on the panel over here, press the one you want. I defrosted some bread the other day, really lovely. And the auto reheat cook option again, all preset. Um, they're also down here, is the button to turn off the turntable. So if you had some, a, something square, for example, or an awkward size, you just would turn that off and the turntable wouldn't spin. Um, really, it, it's really great, uh, a great machine, and I have very, very little negative to say about it. Uh, one good thing, which I think is gonna be really useful, is if I was, let's say I was just using the microwave as standard, um, then, oh, and also this comes up with 900 watts, but you, you can, you, if I didn't want 900 watts, if I wanted to do something at 180 or 300 or 450, dependent on my program, I can select there. So let's say I want 900 watts. Um, I can just, I can either um, set the time by using this up and down um, or I can use it in 30 second um, blasts for want of a better word so 30, 30, 30 you can put it up and then you can further adjust this using this knob so I think I probably will be using the plus 30 plus 30 more often than setting it manually. But um, yeah, it's, it's really great. As I said, the only real negative I, and that is quite a minor point, but one to bear in mind, dependent on where your socket is placed, is that that lead is quite short. But really, 
nothing nothing negative to say about it at all it's great and i can see that it's going to be used an awful lot for much more than just microwaving um, so i just read to confirm again that model number it's an mc 32k 7055ck samsung black 32 litre 900 watt microwave